Hello everyone, welcome to Apple Plus Academy for Civil Services. It's a video on daily news and editorial analysis, which I'll be covering from the Hindu and Indian Express. The most important news and editorial of the day that is relevant for your prelims and mains examination perspective will be discussed in this session. Let's get started with news topic list. Today is 20th of May. The first news, center and states have equal power to make GST related law. This is what Supreme Court has categorically ruled recently. Second, Prime Minister to attend court summit in Japan next week. This is going to be very significant where participation for all the court members will be there. Third, ethanol blending targets and challenges. This is a news from the explained section of the Indian Express. Fourth, concern over Pongo Bridge construction. We'll see the relationship between India and China in terms of Eastern Ladakh region. And the last is an editorial, Pockets of Hope Linking Nature in Humanity. Apart from the news and editorial discussion, there would be MCQ based questions. These questions will be based on current affairs that will help you for the upcoming problems examination. So without any further delay, let's get started. And if you're new to our channel, do not forget to subscribe APT Plus Academy for Civil Services on YouTube. If you like this video, if you find this video informative and helpful, do not forget to press a like button. The first news of the day that is center states have equal power to make on GST related laws. Something important for general studies paper to structure organization and function of executive and judicial. This can again be important for general studies paper three and Indian economy and issue related to it. So recently the Supreme Court has said that center and the state are conferred equal power to legislate a law on the matter of GST. The Supreme Court ne categorically kaha hai ki states ke paas bhi power hai aur center ke paas bhi power hongi ki jo GST related laws banani hai wo dono ke paas hongi. The court has noted that the recommendations of the GST councils are not binding on them. Iske kuch repercussion hongi is decision ke because GST itself call for one nation one tax right. वन नेशन वन टैक्स की कॉन्सेप्ट के साथ जीएसटी आई थी बट आफ्टर दिस लैंडमार्क डिसीजन कमिंग फ्रॉम द सुप्रीम कोर्ट जो कोर एसेंस है जीएसटी की वो नहीं रहेगी एंड इवन इट विल कॉल फॉर अ लॉट मोर स्क्रूटनी नाउ यूज ऑफ आईजीएसटी ऑन ओशियन फ्री ये लेकर के कंसर्न रेज की गई थी सो द एपेक्स कोर्ट डिसीजन कम वाइल कन्फ्रिंग द गुजरात हाईकोर्ट रूलिंग वेर इट सेज दैट सेंटर कैन नॉट लिव इट Integrated goods and services tax on ocean freight from Indian importers. इस बात को लेकर के सुप्रीम कोर्ट में पिटिशन फाइल की गई है एंड सुप्रीम कोर्ट हैज कम विद अ लैंडमार्क जजमेंट इन दिस प्ले सो द बोन ऑफ कंटेंशन इज वेदर द इंडियन इम्पोर्टर कैन बी सब्जेक्ट टू द लेव्यू ऑफ इंटीग्रेटेड गुड्स एंड सर्विसेज टैक्स ये सबसे पहली सवाल है एंड दिस कैन अगेन बी इम्पोर्टेंट फॉर प्रॉब्लम्स एग्जामिनेशन दे कैन आस्क यू वेदर दिस इज द पार्ट ऑफ आई जी एस टी और नॉट सो यू हैव टू बी रेस्ट अश्योर्ड कि कौन कौन सी टैक्सेस आई जी एस टी में आती है जी एस टी में आती है और स्टेट जी एस टीज में आती है राइट सो द कंपोनेंट ऑफ ओशन फ्राइड पेड बाय द फॉरन सेलर टू द फॉरन शिपिंग लाइन ऑन द रिवर्स चार्ज पेज दिस सो दिस इज द रीजन बींग दे हैव फाइल अ पिटिशन ओवर द सुप्रीम कोर्ट ना सुप्रीम कोर्ट की क्या ऑब्जर्वेशन है इस रिगार्ड में The Supreme Court has emphasized that Article 264A, which gives states power to make law with respect to the GST, that is goods and services tax, it says that uh, it emphasized that Article 246A of the Constitution treat the union and the states as an equal unit. So, ये आर्टिकल में मेंशन है कि जो दोनों यूनिट हैं, जो दोनों एंटिटी है, either it is central government and the state government, they are the equal unit, right? and it confer simultaneous power both for the state and union to enact law on gst so these are some of the constitutional provisions of the goods and services tax right and this can again be an important question for your mains examination so make sure whatever i'm discussing you take a thorough note of it and you can even practice this type of question which is again relevant for your upcoming mains article 279a is constituting the gst council and visions neither the center nor the states are actually dependent on each other and the parliament and the state legislature possess simultaneous power in terms of legislating the gst so both have the power in terms of legislating any laws coming from the gst 
Now, this is an infograph. This is there in the Hindu newspaper. So for business, good imports get some relief. So goods imported, they get relief as they're no longer liable to pay GST on ocean freight charges that could seek refund from the past payment. So jitne bhi logo ne already hai GST pay ki hai, unko refunds bhi ki hai But still the Supreme Court has not made it clear, but it is possible that they would be refunded. For the center and the state, the finance minister believed that SC order is only reiterating the spirit of which the GST council is functioning. All but one decision of the council has been reached by the consensus so far. And the council may summon soon to discuss the SC verdict implications. So GST council ki meeting hongi, jo Supreme Court ne verdict di hai, uske concern mein aur uske alignment mein, taaki jo Supreme Court ki verdict aai hai, usko fully jo GST council hai, wo implement kar paai. Now, recommendations of GST council not binding, this is what the Supreme Court has categorically mentioned. And the Supreme Court ruled that the GST Council's recommendations are not binding on the center and neither it is binding on the states, right? And they are only for a purpose of persuasive value. This is again a significant uh, observation made by the Supreme Court. And the court further noted that the recommendations of the GST Council were the product of collaborative dialogue evolving union and the states. Now, GST Council is a constitutional body whose role is to advise and recommend the GST issues. Recently, you have seen the GST Council ke meeting. Hoi. Finance Minister is the head of this council, where 28% ki baat ki gai thi levy for all the gambling, gaming and other stuffs, where Kashino and all the things that are going on. There are 28% ki umbrella taxes. Ki bhi baat ki gai hai. I have already discussed this news. So, GST Council itself is a powerful board, right? So, Ab jiski recommendations have mandatory or binding nahi hongi. Now the legal expert says that the judgment might change the landscape of those GST provision and subject to the judicial review. This is what the expert opinion are coming in terms of the recent observation that was made by the Supreme Court in regard to the GST power both for the center and the state and with regards to the GST council recommendations. Now PM to attend court summit in Japan next week, something important for general studies paper too. Bilateral regional grouping and agreement evolving India's and affecting India's interest. So the Prime Minister of India is expected to travel Tokyo for in-person visit, which will be there for the Quad Summit and is scheduled to visit next week. And the PM will hold the bilateral talk with the US President, Japanese President and Australian PM. Significance kya hai summit ki? How, what are the agendas that would be set in the summit? So the forthcoming court summit provide an opportunity for the leader to have an exchange view specifically for the development taking place in the Indo-Pacific region because court ki jo genesis hui hai, wo Indo-Pacific ke concern ko le sakti hai, right? And even the contemporary issues that is for the mutual interest for all the member countries. Now the court summit will also have a review progress on the working group that was formed in terms of the vaccination distribution, the COVAX program is through critical technology, cyber security, space, climate change and other issues would be also the focus area for this meeting. And the leaders will review the progress of the Quad initiative, that is the working group identifying new area corporations, provide strategic guidance and vision for the future collaborations. Russia ke baare mein bhi baat honi hai is meeting mein. So the summit is expected to take a stock of Russia's war in Ukraine. The, uh, Russia has recently invaded Ukraine. So almost three months now. February mein invade kiya tha Russia. Ne. Abhi bhi wahan pe exercises chal rahi hai Russia ki which is creating a lot more problem and the humanitarian crisis in the Ukraine. Right? So us wajay se western sanctions bhi lagai gaye hai. Bahut sare financial, bilateral, no, diplomatic sanctions lagai gaye hai west ke tarof se. India is the only member in the court that has not joined the sanctions on Russia and it has directly not criticized Russia for its invasion on Ukraine. Now, court ki agar baat kare, something basic, again important for the prelims examination, some factual information. Court ki jo member hai, aapko pata na there are four member countries, India, US, Japan and Australia. So these are the member country flags. And the primary objective of the court is to work for a free, open, prosperous and inclusive Indo-Pacific region. Right? So this is all about the court. 
Now, ethanol blending target and challenges. This is the news from the explain section of the Indian Express. Important for general studies paper two. Government policies and intervention for the development of various sector and issue arising from it design and implementations. So recently, Union Cabinet ne ek amendment pass ki jahan ye kaha gaya ki jo national biofuel policy hogi, uske jo target set kiye gaye hain 20% of ethanol with petrol, jo target actually 2030 ke liye set thi. इसको चेंज करके सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट ने 2025 से इंप्लीमेंट तक फाइनली सारी चीजों को इंप्लीमेंट करने की बात कही है राइट सो फाइव डेज फाइव इयर्स की एडवांसमेंट की गई है इन टर्म्स ऑफ इंप्लीमेंटिंग द 20 परसेंट ऑफ इथेनॉल इन पेट्रोल आई हैव डिस्कस दिस न्यूज यस्टरडे आल्सो व्हाई आई एम डिस्कसिंग इट टूडे बिकॉज देर सम अदर एस्पेक्ट्स दैट यू शुड नो दैट इज रिपोर्टेड इन द इंडियन एक्सप्रेस नाउ आफ्टर सेटिंग ट्वेंटी ऑफ द ब्लेंडिंग टारगेट फॉर ट्वेंटी इनिशियली सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट हैज अनाउंस्ड अ प्रीमियम रेट फॉर इथेनॉल प्रोड्यूस्ड शुगर सिरप जहाँ से जब जो सबसे ज़्यादा जरूरत है इथेनॉल प्रोडक्शन में शुगर सिरप्स होती हैं केन जूस एज वेल एज बी हैवी वॉलसिस द पॉलिसी अलाउ यूज ऑफ एक्सेस राइस डैमेज फूड ग्रेन फीड एंड इथेनॉल प्रोडक्शन तो ऐसे फूड ग्रेन जो एफ सी ए के गोडाउन में रॉटन हो रहे हैं सड़ रहे हैं उनको यहाँ पर इथेनॉल प्रोडक्शन में यूज किया जा सकेगा so if it is being asked how significant it can be you can expect this question in mains examination to aapko sare pros and cons batane honge now about the biofuel policy the national biofuel policy was actually envisaged in 2018 and it aims to reduce the dependence of import by encouraging the fuel blending now agar baat kare bioethanol biodiesel aur bio cng ke ye kuch important component hai biofuel policy ke right Among them, it include ethanol blending program, production of second generation ethanol, which is basically derived from the forest and agriculture residues, जो बचे हुए products होते हैं, उन उन by products से productions की जाती हैं. Increase capacity of productions of the fuel additives, research and development in feedstock, which is again a starting material for ethanol productions. And last but not the least is the financial incentive for achieving these goals. so this is how the entire policy of biofuels is envisaged and envisioned by the central government now agencies that are coordinating the blending program so national biofuel coordinating committee also known as nbcc the union minister for petroleum and natural gases is head and the agency is coordinated in blending the program so this can be again a factual questions for the prelims examination you can read out more detail about the nbcc नाउ लेटेस्ट अमेंडमेंट जो की गई है गवर्नमेंट के द्वारा सो रिसेंटली इन 2018 थाउजेंड एटीन बायोफ्यूल पॉलिसी विच वॉज देर तो गवर्नमेंट ने मैंने आपको बताया जो चेंजेस हुई है दैट इज फॉर ट्वेंटी परसेंट ब्लेंडिंग इट इज एक्सपेक्टेड टू रीच आउट बाई ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड ट्वेंटी सिक्स एंड इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ फीड स्टॉप एंड प्रोडक्शन ऑफ बायोफ्यूज प्रोडक्शन ऑफ बायोफ्यूल अंडर मेक इन इंडिया प्रोग्राम एंड स्पेशल इकोनॉमिक जोन्स एक्सपोर्ट ओरिएटेड यूनिट्स और permissions to allow export for the biofuel in specific cases so this is the latest changes and amendment that has been made by the central government significance kya hai advancing the blending targets first we have seen that the fuel prices is sky rocketing the price has surged to a such level which is unaffordable for a people and this fuel surge has ultimately impacted the food inflation in our country the reason be आर बी आई ने फोर्टी बेसिक पॉइंट से रेपो रेट को बढ़ाया भी है राइट सो द अदर इज दैट द ऑयल मार्केटिंग कंपनीज आर ऑलरेडी बींग मैंडेटेड टू बाय इथेनॉल फ्रॉम शुगर मिल्स एंड क्लियर द पेमेंट विद इन ट्वेंटी वन डेज ये कुछ सिग्निफिकेंस होगी जहाँ पे फार्मर्स जो हैं उनको पेमेंट में डिले नहीं होगी एंड दे वुड बी गेटिंग द इक्वल रेमोडेशन एज रिक्वायर्ड द डिसीजन वुड हेल्प द शुगर मिल डाइवर्सिफाई देयर पोर्फोलियो एंड फास्टर द शुगर प्रोडक्शन एंड बिकम सेल्फ लाइन इन पेइंग द शुगर कैन ग्रोवर्स तो ये कुछ सिग्निफिकेंट एडवांटेजेस होंगे ब्लेंडिंग टारगेट्स के नाउ इज द न्यू टारगेट अचीवेबल दिस इज व्हाट द स्टेक होल्डर इज आल्सो रेजिंग अ कंसर्न बट द एक्सपर्ट बिलीव दैट अचीविंग दिस न्यू टारगेट वुड बी नॉट दैट इजी इट वुड बी अ टफर टास्क वी नीड अ रोड मैप अ कंप्रीहेंसिव पॉलिसी फॉर्मुलेशन इन टर्म्स ऑफ इंप्लीमेंटिंग इट सो एज पर द मैनेजिंग डायरेक्टर ऑफ द नेशनल फेडरेशन फॉर कॉपरेटिव शुगर फैक्ट्रीज इन ऑर्डर टू अचीव ट्वेंटी ऑफ द ब्लेंडिंग India would require a consistent supply of 15 crores liters of ethanol annually. 
एंड नीति आयोग ने कहा है दैट मैनेजिंग सेवन सिक्सटी करोड़ ऑफ लीटर फ्रॉम शुगर एंड सेवन फोर्टी करोड़ फ्रॉम द ग्रेन टू मीट द एथेनॉल रिक्वायरमेंट दीज आर द टारगेट दैट इज सेट बाय द नीति आयोग फैक्चुअल इन्फॉर्मेशन है आप इस तरह की इन्फॉर्मेशन को लर्न कर सकते Around the 20% blending is achieved. 60 lakh ton of sugar would have to be diverted annually to produce the fuel additives, right? So this is how the target can be achieved. Now current blending status की अगर बात करें, currently India's average blending as per the Ministry of Petroleum and Natural Gases stand to 9.90. I will show you a infograph जहाँ पे ये data आपको clear हो जाएगी. Government has projected the ethanol blending will reach 10% by the financial year. This financial year. and center has target advancing it to 20% now look into this infograph uh, this has a target set january 3 may 2003 mein hamare paas jo target thi jo actual thi that was for 5% now it has reached up to 8.5% presently 9% ke aas pass hai aur 2025 ki jo target hai that is for the 20% 4.4 billion 4 billion dollars is expected to be the annual saving If we achieve twenty percent of ethanol blending in petrols, so these are the saving that country is going to make. Now concern over Pongo Bridge construction important for general studies paper to India and its neighbourhood relations. So according to the Ministry of External Affairs, the recent statement, India is closely monitoring the construction bridge that is being taking place by China in the Pongo Lake. in the eastern ladakh region that is an occupied territory of india this is a 135 km long basically bridge that is being constructed in the land lock lake which is in the partly region of ladakh region and partly in tibet so china claims that tibet is a territory belonging to them right and because of the which we have seen the tension escalating between india and china since 2020 and still a conclusive resolution has not been given to this problem Now intention क्या है चाइना की बिहाइंड दिस कंस्ट्रक्शन सो अकॉर्डिंग टू द एक्सपर्ट एज पर द सोर्सेज द सिक्योरिटी स्टैब्लिशमेंट स्टेटेड दैट द ब्रॉड ब्रिज वॉज करेंटली अंडर द कंस्ट्रक्शन कनेक्टिंग बोथ साइड ऑफ द लेक और ये जो कंस्ट्रक्शन है वहाँ के जो पी एल ए फोर्सेज है पीपल लिबरेशन आर्मी दैट विल मूव द ट्रॉप्स एंड आर्मर ईजली एंड विद इन अ स्टिपुलेटेड पीरियड ऑफ टाइम सो उनके जो ट्रेवल टाइम है वो रिडक्शन होंगे उनके Official sources said that the construction of main bridge has just commenced, uh, and the small bridge which which has been seen in the satellite image. I will show you satellite image also. So, जहाँ पे ये बताया गया है कि जो satellite image में picture पता चली है, small bridge was not permanent. It was aiding for the construction of the larger bridge. So you can see the China's intention. इन्होंने जो पहले small bridge की construction की, वो बड़े bridge के construction को aid करने के लिए बनाया और बाद में उसको वो destroy करेंगे. it might continue also but the main intention is to build a longer bridge a bigger bridge so you can see this satellite image which was officially released this is the entire construction of the bridge that is taking place and this was the small bridge that first started right so you can pause this video you can even take the screenshot of it how the ongoing chinese bridge construction is been taking place now moving to the editorial of the day pockets of hope linking nature and humanity this is important for general studies paper 3 that is conservation environmental pollutions degradation and ei this is written by eric fault he is a unesco head of india and many other south asian countries so i'll be simplifying this editorial by seven important subheads the first is earth under strain biosphere reserve are the key biosphere reserve in india diversify system run on a science based plans priority of the countries and the way forward the entire editorial focuses upon the theme of importance of biosphere reserves so according to the global assessment report the latest report and the ecological service related release which was specifically released in 2019 the main goal of driver of biodiversity loss are climate change ye kuch aise karan hai जिस वजह से सबसे ज्यादा बायोडाइवर्सिटी लॉस हो रही है फर्स्ट इज द क्लाइमेट चेंज सेकेंड इज इन्वेजिव स्पीसीज ओवर एक्सप्लाइटेशन ऑफ नेचुरल रिसोर्सेज एंड पॉल्यूशन इन अर्बनाइजेशन सो इफ यू आर हाईलाइटिंग दिस इन मेन्स पेपर यू कैन हाईलाइट ऑल दिस फैक्टर्स दैट हैज लेड टू द लॉस ऑफ बायोडाइवर्सिटी नॉट इन इंडिया बट ग्लोबली द रिपोर्ट वॉज रिलीज बाय द इंटर गवर्नमेंटल साइंस 
policy platform on biodiversity and ecosystem services at UNESCO headquarter in Paris. Now, Earth is under strain. This is what the report has quoted because of our collective excess. The uh, ecological carrying capacity of planet has largely been exceed. The trend need to be redressed. Jump a clean air, higher quality of drinking water, enough food, and healthy habit should be there to ensure ecosystem services continue and benefit humanity without critically affecting the nature balance. So this is how we need to take care. of our environment and we need to have thinking for a sustainable life and sustainable development biosphere reserve ye key hai ek bahut important factors hain baat kare agar biosphere reserve ki which are placed where human lives in harmony with the nature and there are effective combination of sustainable development and nature conservations one of the best mechanism that has been created is the world network of biosphere reserve which was started way back in 1971 by the unesco south asia mein baat kare almost 30 biosphere reserve hai that has been established and first of the hurulu biosphere reserve which is in sri lanka has been designated in 1997 comprises of 25500 hectare within the tropical evergreen forest now biosphere reserve in india ki baat kare the total number is again 12 hai and india is the first biosphere reserve designated by the unesco in 2000 jo ki blue mountains and nilgiri ki that was the first to be designated and the stretch across the tamil nadu karnataka and kerala so many a times it is asked in competitive examination ki jo blue mountain nilgiris ki hai wo kon kon se states ke sath touch karti the network has gone strength to strength and now we have almost 12 site with panna in the state of maharashtra being the latest part of the biosphere reserve in our country now diverse system ki baat ki gayi hai south asia has a diverse set of ecosystem if you look into the some specific states like bhutan india and nepal there was a combinations of thousand of glaciers surrounded by the lakes and alpine ecosystem kanchenjunga biosphere reserve that was established in 2018 is a good model of it and it includes some of the highest ecosystem in the world with elevations of 8586 meters and the reserve is a home to orchid and rare plant species now bangladesh ki agar baat kare bangladesh maldives sri lanka have an extensive coastline with coral reef and mangrove forest these uh, this is uh, these are some of the countries that have significant proportion of mangrove forest and these areas are exposed to extreme weather events and the sea level rises maldives are recognized as the lowest lying country in the world with the mere elevation is 1.5 meter above the high tide mark and separately three biosphere reserve has already been created in maldives so this is achievement that maldives had already made in terms of sustainable environment and development now run on sign based plan this is what the unesco has said the unesco Biosphere reserve with all development sign based management has said that where local solution and sustainable human living is a key and the best practices should be promoted issues of concern include biodiversity clean energy climate environment educations water waste management and the temperament that is backed by the scientific temperament right that should be the monitoring also and it aims to detect and find solution of the climate resilience jitne bhi biosphere reserves hain that are internationally recognized on the land and the coast air on the sea so ye, this all parts and implementation has to be done for all the recognized site that is functional priority country ki agar baat kare bangladesh bhutan nepal are on the priority list of the unesco because they do not have any biosphere reserve still this country do not have any biosphere reserve and their government has already working for the first nomination fights UNESCO believes that this would be important to increase the number of biosphere reserve in India, Maldives and Sri Lanka. Way forward ki agar baat kare, it is important to increase the number of biosphere reserve in South Asian countries and offward doomsday ecological scenario jis tarah se situation worst ho rahi hai uske liye ek solutions hain ecological khas karke jitne bhi biosphere reserves honge. Biodiversity are the living fabric of our planet. and it underpin the human values that is present in the future 
and rapidly declining threat and nature and people alike. So we need to take the cognizance of it and even work in a sustainable manner, which is helping an environment and that call for a sustainable development also. Now moving to the MCQ questions of the day. Before I proceed, just to tell you the answers of yesterday questions. For first question, the correct option is C. For second question also, the correct option is C. Today's MCQ for practice, you have to tell scientists recently seen in news is what? GI enabled tracking system of sand dunes, social security scheme for differently able, instant messaging app of GUI, and news of fertilizer developed by ICR in New Delhi. So do check it out for the correct options. Second question, Security Appellate Tribunal. SAT is a statutory body established under the provision of SEBI Act. The presiding officer of SAT is appointed by the President of India. So do check it out, the correct options and answers. This questions might again be relevant for your prelims examination. This was all about for the daily news and editorial analysis followed by MCQ questions. If you have any other concern, do let me know. I'll be more than happy to assist you. For time being, I'm signing off. Thank you so much for watching this video.